A new mural featuring the wife and daughter of Frederick Douglass, which was set to be unveiled this upcoming weekend, has been vandalized yet again. The organizers of the project are now working on a plan B. Mackenzie Mislin has the story for us. 540 West Main commissioned a couple of artists to paint murals of Anna Douglas and Rosetta Douglas Bragg on a Rochester street connected to them in history. Yeah. Calvin Eaton, who is the founder of the organization, says painting these murals is part of a larger purpose, to bring awareness of the black females who are often overlooked and also teach anti-racism. Frederick Douglass lived on Alexander Street over 100 years ago, and so we wanted to have a mural in this neighborhood that honored Anna and Rosetta. LaShonda Davis, one of the artists commissioned for the project, was frustrated to see their efforts over the past two weeks to create an uplifting gift for the Rochester community had now been defaced. She now fears her intended message isn't getting through. One time I came out and said, RPD are Nazis. Uh, another time I came out, it said something about anti-vaxxers. Another one, politicians are terrorists. The message is getting lost in this particular environment. Davis says she's been an artist for six years, and often she sees new murals face pushback. But typically, once they are completed, the community is supportive. It's been the third time they've had to come back to repaint the mural, and she's wondering if it's even worth it at this point. I'm not speaking for Lucy, the other artist. I don't know if visual art is the way to get messages across anymore. 540 West Main has decided to reconvene on the project to reimagine the mural. Wait. Whether it be moved inside, turned into a wall mural, or moved to a new location. In Rochester, Mackenzie Mislin, News 8. Mackenzie, thank you. Anyone with ideas for the project's new location can visit 54westmain.org.